Hi, welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds. Right, I'm excited about the puzzle I'm going to do for you today because it is a first on this channel. I am going to build a custom puzzle of my lovely cat, Grace. You may remember I featured this puzzle on my most recent puzzle haul video. It's from a company called Puzzle You. Uh, now, when they first approached me to ask if I wanted to try one of their puzzles, I was a little bit of a loss as to what to have put on it. And then it didn't take me long to figure out that it really was a no-brainer. I had a really nice picture that I'd taken a few months ago of the cat curled up on my puzzle shelf, sleeping away and just looking really cosy and comfortable. And so I decided to choose that image. The Puzzle You website is so easy to use. You just go to www.puzzleu.co.uk. If you're in a different country where these puzzles are available, it will take you to the relevant website for your country. All you have to do is click Photo Puzzle. You choose the size you want. I just went for a 1000 piece single image and then I just click Create it here. And from there, it was simple just to find the photo I wanted, upload it. I can make adjustments. Um, I could check the resolution, you can add text to the puzzle and then once it's all done you just click continue and you have then the option to personalise the box. Now the box can be with or without an image. I just went for the image on the puzzle and I called it Grace on Vicky's Puzzle Shelf. But you can also get the boxes without an image at all if you want it to be a bit of a mystery or, you know, you can have that to a theme, say a birthday or Christmas, if you're giving it as a gift or anything like that. And you can add wee embellishments to it and things. So it's really lovely just to be able to personalise the puzzle. And it was just such an easy process to get one made. And it came really quickly as well. And I was just so overjoyed when it came and I've, I've been looking forward to building the puzzle ever since it got here. So today is the day. But before I move on to the puzzle itself, if you would like to try a custom puzzle from Puzzle You, just head over to the Puzzle You website, which I will link in the description below. And if you choose your puzzle and enter the code 23Vicky, you can get 23% off the price of your puzzle. And that offer is valid. Uh, up until the 31st of August 2023. It's available in a bunch of different countries, which again I'll list in the description below and I've just popped up on the screen for you as well. So that's it. Without further ado, let's have a look at these pieces. I can't wait. Okay, so let's get this lovely grease puzzle opened up. Right, it's not cellophane wrap, but it does have two stickers one on either of the long sides oh no it's pulling some of the box paper off ah oh it's pulled off some of the paper at the bottom that's a shame i didn't want to leave the sticker stuck on so i decided against putting it i guess if you're careful it should be okay i hope i'm so excited about this Okay, there's no information in the box, no kind of flyers or anything like that. We've just got the bag of pieces. Looking at it now, the pieces are looking good. I'll just pull them out and we'll have a closer look. All right, it's a nice big box, quite deep. So the, the pieces are nicely spread out. Right, okay, so just picking one out. These pieces look great, they're nice and thick. Nice blue backing. There's a little piece of card inside with a QR code on. I'm assuming that's unique code for the custom puzzle, but I'll pop that down there. And yeah, these look really good. Good variety of shapes. Finish is like, oh, it's like a woven finish, which is great. I like that. It's a tiny wee bit of shine, but it's not too major. Well, there's a bit stuck together. <laughs> so I like that. That is the kind of sort of finish I like on a jigsaw piece. And the colors look good, but I'll know better when I start to put it together. Oh, it just looks brilliant. I can't wait. Can't wait to put this together. I'm a bit nervous about some of the 
blocks of colour like the white shelf and the animal fur but I brought this on myself it's my own photograph so <laughs> I can't really complain about uh, that particular aspect of the image but I'm just wondering how to go about puzzling this I'm thinking I'm thinking I might use my shuffle method that is my preferred method just shuffle around in the box pick some bits out start to put them together get the edge pieces out and yeah just take it from there I don't think this is going to be an easy puzzle but we'll see how I get on so I'm just going to start puzzling this just now Okay, so I've got almost all of that top part done above the cat and this dark area under the shelf and what I've done is I've had another good rummage through the box and I actually went through and turned all the pieces over so I could pick out bits that were missing from these areas and I picked out a load more of these dark pieces that would fill in this area here. There's a few more transition pieces where the dark patch like meets the shelf and then there's a whole bunch there where it's like the top of the shelf and it's a slightly kind of beige colour at one at the top and white at the bottom. What I also did was I picked out these pieces here which are kind of a dark grey. I thought some of them would go in this area which is the edge of the puzzle box behind Grace and some of them did but these ones are just a slightly different shade of colour so I'm assuming they all go together in one part of the puzzle or another I'm just not sure where yet. I'm getting to the point now where I'm working with a lot of kind of muted colours and a lot of colours that are similar shades to each other and I've had to sort of have a good eye to really kind of see the differences between the shades so for example these are pieces I pulled out that are more brighter white colours than say these two pieces here which I just pulled out for comparison which have a little bit more of a creaminess to them so I don't know if you can tell with that one and that one that one's sort of more white and that one's a bit more creamy coloured so those pieces I pulled out because I think they are part of the front of the shelf which is as you can see quite a bright white until it hits the cat's tail. So I'm hoping I can get those put in. I also picked out a few of these dark brown pieces. That seems to be the colour of the cat's fur at the very top. And I pulled out a few of these. This is kind of, this is the cat, but it's like a different texture. It's a bit less sort of obviously fur, if you see what I mean. And I think that's because it's this area here where it's the back of his leg and the fur is shorter and less sort of whiskery. So using texture a lot now, and I know that I'm gonna have to do that a fair bit when I actually come to do the cat properly. But before I get to that, I really want to just try and fill out as much as I can around the cat. And then, then I'll get on with the cat because I think the cat's gonna be the hardest part of the puzzle, but the most fun, I hope. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to get on with that just now, putting in these pieces that I've pulled out in my last wee rummage.
Right, so I've been building the cat. I just kept shuffling, really, and finding pieces that, you know, were similar to each other, that fit in a certain area, maybe. So I found a whole bunch of these kind of brown pieces that I thought initially all went up here, but that's actually quite a thin strip of fur there. And a lot of the pieces actually ended up going in Grace's tail. So I filled out a fair bit of his tail. There's also a wee area here where the fur's kind of fluffier, if you can see that. So the texture changes a little bit. So I've been using wee patterns like that just to be able to kind of differentiate where they go. I managed to pull out quite a few where there's obvious markings that are close together. So I was able to deduce pretty quickly that it was part of his head because he's got those lovely wee stripes on his head. So his head's actually coming together quite well and his ears and everything sort of approaching his eyes pretty soon. There's his wee nose. And the paws came together sort of fairly near the beginning because you've obviously got these little pink pads and this bit at the back of his legs, the hair is quite short. So again, there's kind of a texture element there that was different to the other pieces. I already pulled out a whole bunch of these pieces, some of which have filled in this kind of dark area of the shelf around here. But most of it is, is the white patch of fur, which kind of dominates the, the back end of the cat. So I've just sort of pulled them out and what that really helped to do, even though I've not really started working on them yet, is it helped to just see the pieces that remained in the box better, be able to just pick out the one I needed kind of at a glance and or, you know, pick out ones that I know will go somewhere in a certain area. I started to pull out ones where like transition pieces where the white would meet uh, his ginger fur. And I've kind of managed to put together a few sort of sections of that. So it's coming together kind of from the outside in really, but it's not as, it, it's harder. It's the harder part of the puzzle because obviously he dominates the image and it's all fur. So it's all, you know, really similar textures, but there's definite things I can use to differentiate. And it's just so much fun building a puzzle of your own wee pet. <laughs> it's just really, really fun. So I'm just going to carry on the way I'm going. I'll just be dipping in and out of here, probably work on these pieces and all the other white pieces last. It's really just a case of finishing off the cat from here. So I hope you enjoy seeing Grace finally come together. Okay, so I've sorted the rest of the pieces by shape. I've only really got white patches to do now. And just one th brief thing to point out about these pieces that are helping me with this puzzle is that they tend to be long and narrow. Um, some are a bit more square, like that one, for example, or, you know, like that one. But a lot of them do definitely have kind of a, a length to them. And the orientation of the piece tends to have it that the piece goes upright. So like, for example, that one there and that one beside it. So I've been able to tell, even though these are more or less solid colour now, I've been able to tell which way these pieces go. And apart from some of the more square ones, I'm 99% certain that I'm right that these pieces will go this way or obviously potentially the opposite way but they're not that's not going to go that way for example so that is another thing that's helping me to finish this puzzle as well uh, with these more difficult solid colors that I'm able to tell what the orientation of the piece is so I'm just going to pop all these in just now and we will have a completed Grace the Cat
and Greece is now immortalised in puzzle form. First of all, it's a whole different experience when you're building a custom puzzle. It just was so much fun putting my cat together. It was just really, really good fun and it made the whole experience a lot more personal and I, I really enjoyed it. If there's one thing I would do differently next time, it would be to take a photograph, probably of the cat again, but try and make sure it had perhaps more vivid colour in the picture. Because the cat has a lot of white on him and because the puzzle shelf's white and there were, you know, a few white areas on this puzzle, there were kind of a lot of pieces that were varying different shades of grey, which made it challenging and I, I really did enjoy that aspect of it. There were some textures as well, like the wee plant pot at the side and things like that. And Vegas obviously in the background provided some colour as well, which was great. And I did love the puzzle. I just think it'd be cool maybe next time when I'm actually planning a, cu a custom puzzle, I could perhaps put my um, photographer's hat on and come up with something with, you know, more colours around the cat and with just other textures and things like that in the background that I could do and just make it a little bit different. But I really did, I really enjoyed it. But this puzzle it is definitely going up on the wall um, somewhere in my house. I think it's going to look great. I think it's going to look great on the wall. I could maybe also try a different size as well because they do different sizes. I could go smaller perhaps with 500 pieces or I could even go bigger. They do do 2,000 piece puzzles as well at Puzzle U so that'd be fun to do a 2,000 piece puzzle. I do enjoy 2,000 piece puzzles as well. But not only was it so fun to build a custom puzzle like this, I thought the quality was great. The pieces were just right up my street. There was a bit of puzzle dust but the pieces themselves were really nice and thick. They had a great variety within the standard shapes so you know that made using shape sorting and things like that made it a lot easier to put areas together like the solid colour bit of Grace, the big white patch on him. So I was able to use the piece shape really easily. There were no false fits whatsoever. So it was just, the pieces were just brilliant. And they also had that linen finish on them, kind of woven finish, which I really, really like in a puzzle piece. So I was so pleased with the quality and I would definitely be using Puzzle You again when I come to make another custom puzzle like this. And on that note, I would just like to thank Puzzle You so much for sending me this puzzle. I've, the whole experience was just brilliant from start to finish. And don't forget that you also have until the end of August 2023 to take advantage of 23% off a custom puzzle using the code 23Vicky. I'll put all of the details down in the description below, so hopefully you'll give a custom puzzle from Puzzle You a try. I highly, highly recommend it. And I really think that a puzzle like this would make a great gift as well for anyone you know that loves puzzles and you maybe want to get a gift for them. Otherwise that is it from me. I shall wrap up just now. If you enjoyed this video please be sure and give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please feel free to comment about your own experience with custom puzzles. Have you done one before? Have you used Puzzle U? What picture would you get if you were going to have a custom puzzle made? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, I shall wish you happy puzzling and I will see you in the next video. Bye!